When a tire fails at high speed, it's possible that pieces of it can be thrown against the aft body or the flaps. But it's usually not going to affect the ability of the airplane to fly. In this example of braking after a tire failure, the important issue is that a tire failure reduces braking effectiveness and your ability to stop. Unless a tire failure in the high-speed regime has produced damage that puts the ability of the airplane to fly in serious doubt, Boeing recommends that the takeoff be continued. Though each go-no-go -no -go situation has its own complex series of events, let's take a look at a summary of one accident report and see the consequences of the decision to reject after V1. The airplane taxied out with the first officer set to do the takeoff. The first officer confirmed that in case of a rejected takeoff, the captain would make the decision to reject and the first officer would do it. Two and one half seconds after the V-1 callout at 156 knots, engine number four fire warning came on in the cockpit. The first officer stated that he noticed a movement of the captain's hand towards the throttles and rejected the takeoff. The captain did not make any call out to reject. The maximum speed attained during the reject was 172 knots. The airplane couldn't be stopped on the paved surface and finally came to rest about 1,500 feet beyond the end of the runway. The aircraft sustained substantial damage. One passenger received minor injury during the process of evacuation. There was no engine fire. The accident occurred due to the improper decision of the flying pilot to reject the takeoff at a speed higher than V-1. Lack of crew coordination was a contributing factor.